So I was making uh, posters uh, for my summer car, uh, and I thought maybe it would be useful to make a video uh, how to do that. I don't know if it would be, but here we are. So I just used the Windows photo editor with double clicking on the picture. Most of the time I use pictures that I took in game. You don't have to, you can use anything. So the first thing I do is crop it. I do it to the, this 3, 4 in the middle. Um, it doesn't come out perfect. Uh, it's always a little like 25 pixels wide. I don't know if that matters. Uh, but that just gets cut off when you put it uh, in the game. Uh, once you get your alignment set up uh, to, to where it looks okay, uh, then I, I actually go into adjustment because I mess with the color um, to make it a little bit brighter. The, the background is dark. You can't really see that well. Uh, so the first thing I do is I up the brightness a bit. I usually get up to like 60. That might be too much. Um, Caveat, uh, I, I am colorblind, so uh, red-green. So I can see color, but it's not that great. Um, but yeah, so I wash it out with the over-brightness, and then I underexpose it um, to try to, you know, get the stuff colors back a little bit. Uh, reduce the contrast. You can start seeing the trees, the color pop out of the trees. You can see the, the, the tractor in the background. Uh, highlights I usually leave, but you can mess with that. Uh, shadows I put down to try to darken the shadows back up. Um, I don't know why that would make them darker. I would assume it would be the opposite. Anyways, and then I up the saturation uh, to get it really saturated. And then I reduce the warmth uh, to reduce the saturation a little bit and that kind of uh helps the grass the different uh colors in the grass pop out more um and then you yeah i think i kind of mess with it a bit um like if you get to where you know it just doesn't look right you can just backtrack and try to uh like, I feel like maybe the brightness is a little up, but I'd mess with the contrast. I mean, it, it, it turns out fine. It's, it, you don't have to be as nitpicky as I am. And plus, like I said, I'm colorblind, so I can't even really tell if it looks right. Sometimes I'm like, that. does that look normal or natural color? I don't know. Anyways, um, once you get all this done... Uh, you want to save the file, um, and since I have a bunch of posters, I don't, like, I just kind of save them, uh, based on, uh, whether it's on the warm or cool side, um, when I'm done touching up the photo, uh, and then once you're done with all that, uh, you want to uh, resize your image to be 400 pixels wide by 566 pixels tall. Now, usually when I do it, I just uh, set it to 566 pixels tall, and it'll automatically resize the width, which is usually on here about 425 pixels. So like I said, when you put it in the game, it's going to cut off some of the like 25 pixels on the width um but i've never noticed it so yay for me i guess i don't know i'm not maybe i'm not somebody that notices stuff like that um but yeah so i've got a bunch of different uh i take a lot of pictures i guess um been making posters uh this i, t I turned uh, so this is like pictures of grandma that I, it's, these are for, uh, thumbnails to make thumbnails, uh, for videos. Uh, and then for some reason I, I, cause I, my brain was like, oh, I'm making a video about posters. So I need to turn everything into a poster. So I'm turning this into a poster.
um, which I guess is good because it's 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 really washed out, like it's very bright. Um, I I think I I eventually maybe did like up to two on brightness, like that's it. Uh, I did, I barely touched brightness. But this one is good uh, because I actually uh, properly adjusted the file size because I didn't do it in this last one because, you know, another thing when you're making videos is you're trying to make sure you get everything all squared away and you, you don't get everything all squared away because you're too focused on stuff that is inconsequential maybe. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, uh, messing with the saturation. uh I did notice uh, Grandma's house needs painted. Uh, her 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 paint is very faded, especially underneath that window. Um, her grass is getting kind of dead under that table and chair too. But, anyways, um, but yeah, uh, you know, it's just. It's it's just you know trying to adjust things to to get it to look good, cause that's another thing too is uh, to me I feel like posters in the game are darker uh, than what it looks like when I'm doing it, um, because the posters I do now are a bit brighter than what I had before, but. You know, I mean, as you mess with it, you'll figure it out. Like this one, I actually kind of messed with the highlights. I think I made this one a little warmer. Because that one just, I don't know, it looks a little better, I feel like. Um, but yeah, and you don't always have to have the date or the year in there. Just sometimes I do that just because it's, I don't know. And I don't know what tint, like I used to mess with that on the TV, but I don't know what that do. So. And I usually save it as a copy. And just... Underscore, this one would be warm. The last one I think was cool. Uh, and then in underscore warm, or the copy that you made, you want to resize the image by clicking on those three dots up top. And like I said, I do 566, six, and then that automatically puts it to 425. Oh, and you want to save it as a PNG. Um, uh, now, to actually be able to use it in the game, what you're going to save it as is the name is going to be Poster 2 without any spaces or capital letters. It's just lowercase Poster 2, like right there. So this is the one of the ones that I have or have had in the game. It's very orange and bright right there. But in the game, uh, I mean, I guess the, the lights are off. I, I usually, I don't always have the lights on, but, you know, you can actually kind of see the, the definition. Uh, this is the original one that I had. I like the clouds in this one better, but it was just very dark, and I just couldn't see it in the game, really. So, I just, you know, made the other really orangey, bright one or whatever. Uh, now, if you go to Steam, your library, and right-click on My Summer Car, Manage... Go to Browse Local Files. This is how you put the posters in. You double click on Images, and there's your posters. Uh, I keep the Satsuma and the uh, the Death Metal uh, like concert poster or whatever because those are cool. But I didn't want that dude barfing on me the whole time. Uh, this is the poster I have right now, um, and this is what it looks like in the game with the lights on. I like the smoke trail. I think that's cool looking, um, and. Like, the, the colors for the, the foliage pop more. And this is what it looks like uh, with the lights off. So, you know, you can see it better even when the lights are off. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got different... Uh, I actually have the, the Volteri Boltas poster I made. That's a pretty cool one. Like I was saying, you can make anything a poster. 
uh, you just have to resize it and uh, crop it or whatever. Uh, you don't always have to mess with the colors. I didn't mess with any lighting or anything like that with that Valtteri Bottas, Bottas uh, poster. Um, yeah. And then, uh, you know, just got pictures of uh, rally cars driving down the road. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like the camera in this game. It's It's really cool to me. It's interesting the fact... Oh, fireworks. I couldn't really get the picture that well. I also tried um, taking pictures of a lightning uh, in the thunderstorm, but uh, I can never get the timing right for the lightning, and then it's just like, probably not a good idea to be standing out in the field trying to take pictures of the light lightning. Um, this is the original picture uh, with that, that I had for, on my wall. Um, I could have cropped that differently too, I guess, and still made a good picture. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the gist. You got poster one, two, and three. They're all the same size. Um, I didn't save a copy of the 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 Barfy dude poster, which I I don't know, like somebody worked on that, you know. I kind of feel bad about that, maybe, but. Um, and then here's the two pictures. On the right is the edited, and the left is the unedited. Just so you can kind of see, like, the, the trees and the grass, you know, it kind of, it pops out a bit more. Um, but these aren't poster-sized. These are just color-edited. Um, you know. These are uh, different rally posters that I made. These are the actual posters. But like, yeah, the, the you can see like the, the foliage and the, the grass and the, the, I don't know what you call that, the heather popping out. I can't remember what that's called. Then you got the Fangorn Forest. To so dark you can't even see through it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just... It's just, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun process, I guess, um, to just make your own posters for the game. Uh, this is just a weird picture I took, a maiden poster. Uh, you can see, like, the blue van and then that green, uh, the beer umbrella or whatever promotional thing. And then the red, whatchamacallitums. I like the yellow car and the black stripes. That's actually for like a, a video or something. And then this, I like the like the green and then the yellow popping out. And then you can kind of see some purpley flowery things in the front. I don't know. Just, uh, you know. Uh, so it's poster 1, 2, or 3. Uh, pixels 400 wide and 566 tall. Uh... Yeah, I think that's everything. Browse local files. Double click images. Yeah. Alright, well, hope this was helpful. Uh, have a good day.